they took like a CPU movie asset that they had and they rendered it with Redshift and it went from like minutes to seconds, the same quality. Redshift is the world's fastest final frame render. We use the incredible power of the GPU to render frames five to 20 times faster than our competitors. All the founders we used to work for a games company. One of our artists that we work with, he just asked us one day, like, you know, wouldn't it be really cool if you could use a GPU to do ray tracing? So we set about like writing a prototype. We actually got some very good encouraging results like very early on, and so we decided that we would actually build on the prototype and actually start a company. What sets us apart from other renders that are running on the GPU is that we have an out-of-core architecture, so we access geometry and textures in an out-of-core fashion, which allows you to render scenes that far exceed the memory capacity of the GPU. So one of the great things for us is that NVIDIA brings out new GPUs every year, and they come with like more CUDA cores, and different technology, like different architectures, and more memory as well. So Redshift actually just becomes faster without us even having to do any work. The GP100 card, which is like quite new, that has like some really cool new technology, like the on-chip memory. Redshift is very memory heavy, we use lots of memory, and the on-chip memory of the GP100 means that shaders and things like that are almost twice as fast. It's like this incredible performance jump. Speed really has two major impacts. One is that you save money. Let's say it's 10 times faster, you, know, you need 10 times less hardware to get the same job done. The other sort of more subtle, but perhaps more important factor is iteration time. The shorter and shorter we can make that iteration time, the more the artists can iterate on their work, the more they can unleash their creativity and experiment and just basically end, end up with a better result in the end. What we hear mostly from our customers is that, you know, because of the, the speed of the rendering, they can like iterate through and like increase the quality without actually like decreasing the performance in some cases. So they can like crank up all the settings in Redshift, like all the bounces for lights and GI, that kind of thing. So they can get like way better quality results than they were getting before with the, the CPU renderer. And they're getting the results back super fast as well. We're already in talks right now with some very big studios that involve both commercial and movies. So it's very exciting and I don't see why not in five years that every major effects house will be using like GPUs for rendering and hopefully with Redshift.